And that's all folks. In all honesty, I'm really, really going to miss this place. First ever home, lots of memories here. It's so empty right now that you can literally hear an echo. But yeah, this is it. Moving back home for now. I honestly don't really mind since everyone's under quarantine. I'm really just like hanging out with my family, which is a very, very good time to do that. Hey yeah, guys, this is it for 705, my first ever apartment. Let's go home. I think I just lost my mother's day balloon. No, <laughs> I opened the door and it just flew out. Cut onto a tree, we're all good. It's literally May 11th and we have this much snow right now. Daisy's loving it. Like the snow, Daisy? Daisy, hey, you want the balloon? Hey, come here. It's only like 7.30 in the morning, so there's definitely going to be a lot more snow. Which is crazy, it's literally May 11th. Thought we were done with this stuff. I'll go for a walk, let's get changed. So something that I've started doing since quarantine is going for a walk every single day at 9 a.m. And while I'm going for the walk, I always listen to a podcast as well, just because it gets you really motivated first thing in the morning. And then your body is also moving, so you're waking your body up, and I just find it's a really, really good way to wake up. I'll go for a walk? Let's go, let's go, let's go, sit, sit, sit. He loves going on her morning walk. Isn't that right, Daisy? So we normally go for a walk around the neighborhood every single morning now and it's actually really really nice. It helps clear your mind, gets your body moving, gets your brain thinking, it stimulates your brain because you're listening to a podcast, and then also stimulates your muscles because you're moving. You can see how crazy the weather in Canada is. It was literally snowing like an hour ago and now it's all wet and it looks like springtime. Now it looks totally different. Now I'm going to listen to the Andy Frisella podcast. Highly recommend it. It's a really, really good podcast and it's mostly about like business and personal development. So it's actually a really, really good combination of things that I'm trying to work on right now. <laughs> Daisy, come on, get over here. <laughs> hey, there you go. Did you do this? Did you do this? Did you jump up on me, little lady? Alright, so I finished at 48 minutes and 1 second, 3.51 kilometers walk. I burned 286 calories. Good start to the day. So I've been having two coffees a day as well. Instead of having pre-workout midday or some other really high sugary drink, I just have a coffee before I do a workout. So I'm planning on doing a push workout. So that's going to be chest, quads, calves, and triceps. And I'm just going to have a coffee before I do so. And during the whole quarantine, I've been having about two or three coffees a day. I know that seems like a lot, but it's honestly less caffeine than I was drinking before the quarantine because I was having pre-workout first thing in the morning and that was about 350 milligrams of caffeine and each cup of coffee is about 60 to 70. So I've actually reduced my caffeine intake by a lot. Let's hit this workout. Welcome to my home gym. My gym setup actually isn't that bad. I'm doing almost everything that I would normally do at the actual gyms. Let's take a little tour. It is a little bit messy, so my bad. But anyways, we have some push-up bars, an elliptical, an easy curl bar, some more weights. A lot of these are from when my dad was about my age. So this is like over 20 years old, these weights here. Got 20 pounds, 22 pounds. Each of those are five or 10 pounds. Basic bench press where you can adjust it to go decline and incline. 15 pound 
barbell so we have to load up with the actual weight a little bit more than we would at a regular gym because that barbell is about 30 pounds lighter than the gym standard ones so and then some more older weights over here and then a treadmill and last but not least a makeshift pull-up bar and some bands to stretch out my rotator cuff because it gets pretty tight let's start the workout a thousand words ain't enough to define the body of, body of, yeah. Caught a look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body of, yeah, yeah. You think that I want you, but not, not, babe. You want in a million, but it's not for me. I'm not into girls with a plastic trace. Don't take it to personal. So I actually kind of enjoy home workouts and maybe down the line I'll make a home gym, who knows. But basically this pandemic has just shifted everything that I do normally. I moved back home, I'm working from home, working out at home, basically doing everything from my house. Some pretty crazy stuff happened in the last two months and it's probably going to be some of the biggest moments I've ever experienced in my life. I wish this sounded like a story but it's legit, like this is real. And I'm not saying this to be like rude or anything, like this is literally what happened and this is my life and I want to document it on this channel so I feel like I need to almost say it and explain it to myself in the future when I watch this video and then also to the people who are watching my life's journey unfold on here. I wish this was a story once again but it's literally not. This is real life. So I pretty much separated from my significant other on my 22nd birthday which you know doesn't sound that great now that you say it out loud but it's true. I sat in my one bedroom apartment completely alone besides Daisy which I'm so thankful for the puppy because if I didn't have the puppy I probably would have went insane basically had to move out during the pandemic which is kind of hard to do because you know like you gotta in an apartment you gotta touch a lot of buttons and you know things in the elevator and doors and handles and hold doors open to move things and with the pandemic going on you don't really want to do that but I basically had to because there's no other way to really move anything which you know I was fine I put gloves on mask whatever and I basically had to move out of my first home back into my parents home on april 1st like this is not a joke literally on april 1st the joke day so like this whole thing is unfolding and i'm just like oh my god like what is going on like my life story literally feels like a movie and like this is like the part of the movie that you know, isn't the greatest for the main character, but you know, it's not a big deal. Something that I've learned throughout this whole situation is to not be upset. You know, if you put so much energy into these negative things in your life, they're going to be blown out of proportion to something even worse. So the way I've come to terms with this whole thing is just, you know, looking at it right now, like it honestly sounds funny. Like, like it's, this is crazy. And I'm not gonna go into like crazy detail or anything, but like if I were to write out my life story in the last like six Six months it just blows me away like it's just the craziest thing and once again I'm not upset like I've come to terms with it I've done a lot of personal growth and reading and writing and everything and I think this is the moment like you've seen a lot of movies when the main character is kind of like at its lowest point and then their best moments are just around the corner I feel like that's exactly where I'm at right now I know what I want in my life I know who I want in my life I know what I value in life and I definitely know what I don't value in life those last two really come hand in hand because a lot of people you know they think they want all this extravagant amazing things but they don't know what they don't want either and I've realized both right now and I feel like right now is the most clear my mind has ever been and I know this end part of the video isn't like super interesting by any means but this is like one of the biggest moments in my entire life and I really really want to document this on the channel I do go back and watch my videos every now and then and it's just really really interesting to watch like where I was in the past and everything and just being able 
able to being able to just see yourself in the past i think is the biggest gift of youtube but yeah this is like just crazy like if i could make a movie or write a book or something i think this would actually be a pretty good story and once again i'm not going to go into crazy detail or anything but the biggest thing i can take away from this whole situation is i learned a lot i know exactly what i want to do and i've made a lot of mistakes that will really prevent me from making mistakes in the future which will allow me to grow and progress without big roadblocks and i'm thankful i went through this whole process and i'm excited to see what the future holds because i'm dedicating a lot more time into the channel now because what happened in the past i would have all these hopes and dreams put some effort into it then you know take like a month long break and then come back post a video or something and then there's just no consistency so now dedicating every monday to making a new video that's 52 videos a year bare minimum and i think this year 2020 is going to be a huge year i know it's pretty much half done but i'm looking at it as a half i'm looking at it as a half glass full what <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the last half of 2020 as a glass half full, not half empty. I have six months to just really follow what I want to do and try as hard as I can. And then with the gift of YouTube, I can just watch this video in six months and then just really see like, wow, a lot of stuff has happened. Another huge thing that I've learned is time is crazy. Like my life is totally different than it was a year ago. My life is totally different than it was two months ago. Like time is just crazy and i'm hoping to utilize it to the best of my ability now and actually pursue what i want to do and make it consistent consistency equals change and i think that's the biggest thing that i need to implement in 2020 and that's just being consistent with everything whether that's the gym nutrition youtube anything else really it's just all comes down to consistency but yeah guys that's the end of the video this was like a mini little rant and i don't really do this on the channel but i thought since this is like a huge major life event and world event that it required a little bit of talking so if you guys did watch the whole video thank you here's to the rest of 2020 and i hope everyone is being safe and healthy of course these times are really really crazy but i also think in the midst of all the crazy there's a lot of opportunity and i'm going to be using this time to be as productive as possible and that's what i recommend to everyone else too use this downtime to your advantage and come out of this whole thing a much much better person but this is the end of the video guys if you guys haven't liked or subscribed already make sure you do it would help a lot right now i'm probably going to go watch a movie and have a tea and maybe read a little bit after too but i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one